Good evening. We'll call the meeting to order, and uh, I'll note that uh, Councillor Sanderson is absent for tonight's meeting. Uh, any disclosure or pecuniary interest in general nature thereof? Seeing none, we'll move to the public meetings. Uh, 3.1, notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed, sorry, before I do that, I gotta read an opening statement. Better look at my screen more. The public meeting is being heard by the City Council Planning Advisory Committee and public notice has been given in accordance with the Planning Act. The non-elected members of the Planning Advisory Committee are Mr. John Beltudis, Mr. David Joyce, Ms. Catherine Brown, and Mr. Paul Jennings. Citizen appointees may ask questions and participate in the discussion in order to assist in making recommendations to City Council, but may not make motions or vote in connection with the public meeting. If a person or public body does not make oral submissions at a public meeting or make written submissions to the Planning Committee or City Council before the bylaw is passed, the person or public body is not entitled to appeal the decision of City Council or the Ontario Land Tribunal. If a person or public body does not make oral submissions at a public meeting, or make written submissions to the City of Belleville before the related bylaw is passed, the person or public body may not be added as a party uh, to the hearing of an appeal before the Ontario Land Tribunal unless, in the opinion of the Tribunal, there are reasonable grounds to add the person or public body as a party. Comments received at this meeting, or at this public meeting, as well as written comments, will be considered by the Engineering Development Services Department in analysis of the applications that were part of the public meeting tonight. For further information on how to provide comments, to the city regarding an application from this public meeting, please email planning at balville.ca. A recommendation report will be brought forward upon receipt of all agency and public comments in the future. Any person wishing to be advised of the Belleville Planning Advisory Committee's recommendations with respect to today's applications are requested to provide their name and address as well as the application in which they have an interest in writing to the city of Belleville. We'll move to the public meetings, 3.1, notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed zoning bylaw amendment bylaw 3014 a 217 clearview road city of Belleville. owner is paul martin denmar mechanical incorporated and the file number is b-77-1173 staff could you present the application please thank you mr chair the subject lands are on the north side of clearview road east of pine hill crescent and west of kelly road which are municipally known as uh, 217 Clearview Road and 9556 uh, Highway 62. Uh, the property at uh, 217 Clearview Road underwent two consent applications. The first one was to create a new residential lot on the southwest corner of this property, uh, which I will refer to as the severed parcel. And the second was to add the west and north side of 217 Clearview Road to 9556 uh, Highway 62. Um, a Christmas tree farm is located on the remaining portions of 217 Clearview Road, which I will refer to as the retained parcel. As a condition of consent, the rezoning application proposes to rezone the severed parcel from prime agriculture PA zone to rural residential RR zone uh, to, per to permit a new residential dwelling. This application also proposes to rezone the retained parcel from prime agriculture PA and, oh sorry, ag prime agriculture PA zone and rural RU zone to rural RUX zone with special provisions to permit agri-tourism uses. The proposed agri-tourism uses include Activities such as campfires, hay mazes, outdoor photography studios, tractor wagon rides, restaurant, and food truck, uh, and other related uh, retail uses, which would be accessory to the uh, Christmas tree farm. The official plan designation of the subject lands is rural land use, and staff have not received any correspondence from the public at this time. Back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone wishing to speak in favor of this application? Okay, thank you. Uh, so just <coughs> uh, to catch it on audio, uh, Mr. Martin is present. Uh, is there any questions from community members? 
No? Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the application? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the application? Anyone wishing to speak in opposition of the application? Anyone wishing to speak in opposition of the application? And a third time, anyone wishing to speak in opposition of the application? Okay, seeing none, uh, I have a resolution that the Paul Martin Denmark Mechanical Incorporated application B-77-1173 be referred to the regular planning advisory committee meeting for consideration. Moved by Councillor Feeney, seconded by Councillor Kelly. All in favor? That's carried. Thank you. 3.2, notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed zoning bylaw amendment to zoning bylaw number 10245 is amended. 256 Coleman Street, City of Belleville. Owner applicant is 2129776 Ontario Incorporated, care of Raju Jean Pinadath, and agent is RFA Planning Consultant Incorporated, and file number is B 77 1174. Could staff present the application, please? Thank you, Mr. Chair. The property at 256 Coleman Street is developed with a two story red brick building that was originally built as a house around 1870. The official plan designates the area as city center land use in the West Village neighborhood, which permits a range of uses subject to the policies of the plan. Uh, the property is currently zoned non-retail commercial C5 and had been used as a hair salon since 2015. Uh, what the applicant is proposing is to rezone the property to residential fourth density with a special provision. The change to R4 is requested to allow for conversion back into a dwelling house and the special provision would re uh, recognize the building's existing front yard setback of 2.09 meters instead of the required 3.6 in a regular R4 zone. Uh, the property is listed on the Municipal Heritage Register. Uh, one person has requested to be notified of the decision and I understand one person has also called to ask about the details of the application. Uh, there have been no other comments from the public to date. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone wishing to speak uh, on this application? Yeah, come forward. If you would just activate the microphone, please. Oops. Um, good evening, um, committee members. My name is Catherine Tran, a planner at RFA Planning Consultants, the agent on file, and I have a brief presentation um, in support of the rezoning application at 256 Coleman Street. In terms of the site context, um, the subject lands have a lot area of 470.8 square meters and the site is within the Belleville Urban Service Area. Um, the site has a 15 meter frontage on the west side of Coleman Street and surrounding the property to the south and west are low density residential uses, to the north and east are commercial uses. The site currently consists of a detached dwelling um, and it was formerly um, used as a hair salon. Um, the site is also listed heritage under the Municipal um, Heritage Registrar. In terms of the work initiated, a pre-consultation meeting was held with municipal staff on February 10th, 2022, and the rezoning application was filed on August 29th, 2022. In terms of um, in, um, the submission with the application, a planning rationale and plot plan were submitted as well. Under the provincial policy statement, the subject property is within the settlement area, which is the Belleville Urban Service Area, where growth and development is focused. The site is designated city center, where a mix of densities and a various of public uses are in proximity to the site. Overall, the rezoning is consistent with the 2020 PPS. Under the City of Belleville official plan, the lands are designated city center, and no official plan amendment is required or requested to support um, the rezoning application. Overall, the rezoning conforms to the uh, general policies of the city center, the city center policies of the official plan. For, in terms of the rezoning, the property is currently um, zoned non-retail commercial C5 zone, and we are proposed to rezone um, the property to urban residential fourth density, um, fourth density zone with a special provision. The special provision will recognize the existing front yard depth of the building. Um, the special provision will permit the proposed um, residential use without demolishing the facade of the building, which um, being the building is listed heritage um, for its architectural value, it would be quite significant. Um, overall, the application proposes to convert the existing dwelling back into its original residential use. 
um, the subject property is requested to rezone the subject property is requested to be rezoned from non-retail commercial C5 zone to urban residential fourth density zone with special provisions and the conversion of the subject property into a residential use will contribute in providing um, housing for um, to meet the needs of the current and future residents thank you and I'm here to answer any questions anyone has okay thank you uh, any questions from community members okay, seeing none thank you very much okay. anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the application and a third time anyone wishing to speak in favor of the application anyone's w w wanting to speak in opposition of the application is anyone wanting to speak in opposition of the application and a third time anyone wishing to speak in opposition of the application Okay, seeing none, I've got a resolution uh, that the 2129776 Ontario Incorporated application B-77-1174 be referred to the regular planning advisory committee meeting for consideration. Moved by Councillor Alsop, seconded by Councillor Kelly. All in favor? That's carried. Thank you. Could I get a motion to adjourn this portion? Councillor Alsop, Councillor Feeney, all in favor? That's carried. Thank you. So moving on to the Planning Advisory Committee, uh, again, I note that uh, Councillor Sanderson is absent, sends his regrets. Uh, disclosure of pecuniary uh, interest and general nature thereof. Seeing none, uh, reading the confirmation of the minutes, uh, that the minutes of the City Council Planning Committee meeting and the Planning Advisory Committee meeting held on September 6, 2022 be approved. Ms. Brown, seconded by Mr. Joyce, all in favor, it's carried. Uh, no deputations. Correspondence. Can I get a motion to receive correspondence received in the city clerk's office? Councillor Alsop and Mr. Beltutis. All in favor? That's carried. Thank you. 6.1 uh, referrals from the public meeting. Notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed zoning bylaw amendment bylaw 3014 217 Clearview Road, City of Balville. Owners Paul Martin, Denmark Mechanical Incorporated. File numbers B 77 1173. Resolution is that report number PP-2022-48 dated October 3rd, 2022 regarding the notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed amendment to zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended, 217 Clearview Road, City of Balboa County of Hastings be received as information and that staff report back at such time as input from the public commenting agencies and municipal departments has been received, assessed and addressed to the satisfaction of the Engineering and Development Services Department. Ms. Brown and Councillor Alsop, uh, any questions or comments? See none, all in favor? That's carried. 6.2, notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for proposed, amend, proposed zoning bylaw amendment to zoning bylaw number 10245 as amended. 256 Coleman Street, City of Balboa. Owner applicant is 2129776 Ontario Incorporated, care of Raju Jean Pinadaf. An agent is RFA Planning Consultant Incorporated. File numbers B-77-1174. Resolution reads that report number PP-2022-49 dated October 3rd, 2022 regarding the notice of complete application and introductory public meeting for application for proposed amendment to zoning bylaw number 10245 as amended. 256 Coleman Street, City of Bowell, County of Hastings be received as information and that staff report back at such time as input from the public commenting agencies and municipal departments has been received, assessed, and addressed to the satisfaction of the Engineering and Development Services Department. Moved by Mr. Joyce, seconded by Councillor Feeney. Uh, any questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. Uh, moving on to reports. 7.1, staff recommendation report for proposed zoning bylaw amendment, bylaw 3014, 235 Harmony Road, City of Balboa. Owner is Frank DeHaan, agent is Nikki DeHaan, File number is B-77-1167. Resolution is that the Planning Advisory Committee recommends the following to City Council. That application B-77-1167 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended for 235 Harmony Road, City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended be amended to rezone a portion of the subject land from prime agricultural PA zone and rural RU zone to rural residential RR zone for the severed parcel and rural RU 30 zone with special provisions to permit a reduced loss lot frontage of 55 meters for the retained parcel. Okay, so we move that Councillor Alsop, second by Mr. Jennings. Uh, questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor? 
not security. 7.2 staff recommendation report for proposed zoning bylaw number uh, bylaw amendment bylaw 3014 6845 and 6875 highway 62 city of balvo owner is wayne wait agent is watson land surveyors limited file number is b-77-1168 resolution is that the planning advisory committee recommends the following to city council that application B-77-1168 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended for 6845 and 6875 Highway 62 City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended be amended to rezone the portion of the retained parcel zoned development D zone to Highway Commercial C1 zone and uh, the portion of the severed and benefiting parcel zone prime agricultural PA zone and prime agricultural PA-6 zone to rural RU-31 zone with sp special provisions reflective of the prime agricultural PA-6 zone and that a holding uh, H symbol be applied to the zoning of the retained parcel until such time as the barn is no longer used for livestock. Councillor Allstop and Mr. Jennings, uh, any questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor, that's carried. 7.3, staff recommendation report for proposed amendment to zoning bylaw number 10245 as amended, 83 and 85 Bridge Street West, City of Belleville. Owner applicant uh, number 83 is 1000159954, Ontario Incorporated, uh, and Number 85 is 2748287 Ontario Incorporated. Agent is Watson Land Surveyors. File number is B-77-1169. Resolution reads that the Planning Advisory Committee recommends the following to City Council. That application B-77-1169 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 10245 as amended for 83 and 85 Bridge Street West City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 10245 as amended be amended to rezone the subject land from residential fourth de density R4 to residential third density R3 6 zone with special provisions to reduce the minimum lot frontage, lot frontage per dwelling unit, front lot line, lot area, lot area per dwelling unit, interior side yard depth, and increase the enclosed step projection into the side yard. Somebody move that, please. Mr. Joyce, Councillor Kelly. Uh, any questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor, that's carried. 7.4 staff recommendation rep report for proposed uh, amendment to zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended. Uh, 628 Zion Road, City of Belleville. Owner applicant is <clears throat> 2509635 Ontario Incorporated, Graham Brown. Agent is Watson Land Surveyors. File number is B 77 1170. Resolution reads that the Planning Advisory Committee recommends the following to City Council. That application B-77-1170 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended for 628 Zion Road, City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended be amended to rezone a portion of the subject land from prime agricultural PA zone to rural residential RR zone to the severed parcel and prime agricultural PA-47 zone with a special, special provision to prohibit residential development on the retained parcel. Can somebody move that? Councillor Alsop, second by Mr. Baltutis. Uh, any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. Uh, 7.5, and you have an amended uh, copy of the motion on your desk. Staff recommendation report for proposed zoning bylaw amendment bylaw 3014, 69B Mudcat Road, City of Belleville. Owner is Dennis John Gould. Agent is Sean Legere of RFA Planning Consultant. File number is B-77-1171. <clears throat> and the resolution reads that the Planning Advisory Committee recommends the following to City Council. That application B-77-1171 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended for 69B Mudcat Road, City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended be amended to rezone the portion of the subject land zoned rural RU zone to general industrial M1-35 zone 
with special provisions to limit the use of the land to bulk storage and to consider the front lot line and lot frontage for land zone M1-35 by utilizing the road frontage of the abutting general industrial M1 zone of 732 Ashley Street. Can someone remove that please? Ms. Brown and Mr. Jennings. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, all in favor? That's carried. 7.6 staff recommendation report for proposed amendment to zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended 815 Zion Road City of Babel owner applicant is 2509635 Ontario Incorporated Graham Brown uh, agent is Watson Land Surveyors the file number is B-77-1172 resolution is the Planning Advisory Committee recommends the following City Council that application B-77-1172 to amend the City of Belleville zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended for 815 Zion Road, City of Belleville be approved as follows. That zoning bylaw number 3014 as amended be amended to rezone a portion of the subject land from extractive industrial M2 zone to rural residential RR zone for the severed parcel and ex extractive industrial M2 for the retained parcel. Can we move that please? Councillor Alsop and Mr. Baltutis. Uh, any questions or comments? See none, all in favor, that's carried. And moving on to information uh, matters, resolution is that the official plan and zoning bylaw amendment monitoring report to October 3rd, 2022 be received as information. Moved by Mr. Baltuda, seconded by Councillor Alsop. Any questions? Uh, Mr. Jennings. Thank you, through the chair. Uh, I had a resident contact me about the um, File B-77-1091, the Holgate tire cleanup, uh, old trailers sitting on their site. And I think we had a, uh, proposed an ex one year extension in 2019 and I couldn't find any other trace of what happened to that. Whether it was, okay. I don't think the trailers were ever removed, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yep, I'll uh, refer that to staff. Through uh, you, Mr. Chair. Um, I actually don't have that file on hand at the moment. Uh, can I follow up with you and provide an update to you? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions? Mr. Beltutis? If you, if you wanna, thank yeah, thank you. Thank you, sorry about that. Just following up on that, that'll come back to the whole committee? Okay. Yes. As yep. opposed to just Mr. Jennings. Thank yep. you. Any other questions on information matters? Okay, I have a resolution on the floor, all in favor? That's carried, thank you. Uh, general business. Um, oh wait, no, 8.2, sorry. The resolution of the memo regarding official plan and zoning bylaw amendment public notice signs be received as information. Uh, Mr. Joyce, Mr. Baltutis, um, staff, wanna present uh, or comment on the notice? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, to uh, the committee. Uh, it came to light um, last year uh, through doing a study for uh, a university student that um, we could do an update to our signs. Uh, so we had uh, some of our staff work on uh, a new sign that utilizes more visual um, elements uh, while also uh, including all the required elements of the sign. Um, the idea here is to be less planning jargon and provide more visual representation, including graphics. Um, this one, this sample here only has the one graphic. Ideally, we would have also a map on there as well. Um, so this was our first test trial, but we do have a revised version for the new fairground one as well. Um, so uh, again, our, our idea is to be more open to the public, provide a you know more front frontal <laughs> picture of what what is happening, and um, you know ideally, then we're being more open to the public. We'll gather better feedback from the public um, and, and ultimately they'll be more informed. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions or comments for committee members? Mr. Joyce. Stupid question, but I assume that's to scale. Is that going to be the size that will be posted on the lots? Or? Yep, uh, this sign is the uh, same sign as our current signs. Good sign. Um, and uh, we, we did inquire about the co added color, if it was gonna be extra cost okay. and uh, it's the same cost as the original sign. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Beltutis. Um, so this type of sign will be applied to all applications. So if it's a residential and they wanted to change something, that 
Yep, uh, sorry, uh, through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is our standard official plan amendment and rezoning application sign. Um, so th this will be the, the standard going forward. Yeah. Uh, Councilor Kelly. Through you, you uh, Chair, just how many days is that up? Is it 30, 69 of us to do it? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, usually they're up from the time uh, they pick up the sign, which is, uh, I don't have the exact day, but until the public meeting, 20 days, 20 days. Uh, they're often left up for much longer, um, you know, until the application's closed. That's, uh, yeah, Thank you. common. Any other questions or comments? Well, I'd like to just say thank you to staff for uh, proposing this change. Uh, I think, um, you know, we've all seen the public notice signs. Uh, there's a lot of words and a lot of legalese under the Planning Act, and it can get quite confusing. And even in our resolutions that we read, I think the public sometimes wonders, what are, exactly are you doing? This puts it in very plain language. Um, and it's certainly more eye-catching as well uh, to see what's going on and uh, you know with the color diagrams and things I think it's a step forward so uh, well done okay I got a resolution on the floor to receive that as information all in favor that's carried uh, moving on to general business anything under general business seeing none I have some closing remarks uh, the Planning Advisory Committee's applicable decisions will be forwarded to the City Council for consideration, forming part of the agenda for the City Council meeting to be held. And with that, I need a motion to adjourn. Uh, Mr. Baltudis and Councillor Feeney, all in favor? That's carried.